Welcome back to Secret Weapons, and today we're taking a look at Lore by Walrus Audio. This feels like a fun return to form for me and for this channel. Uh, we started out on this channel very, very ambient, and over time have kind of shifted into being able to write uh, heavier music and more aggressive stuff alongside that ambient stuff. Uh, this is Lore from Walrus Audio, and this is a brand new dual DSP ambient machine. I mean, this is very targetedly in the ambient space. We are dealing with uh, like I said, dual DSP, so two different uh, algorithms running at the same time across five different programs, combinations of a reverse reverb into a forward reverb, a reverse delay into an octave down or an octave up reverb, um, cascading pitch shifting delays that kind of fight at odds with one another. This thing does a lot of really big ambient stuff. Uh, what it's not going to do is non-ambient stuff. Uh, I find that everything in this thing, even, even the algorithms that aren't reverb focused, are still very reverberant in the way that like the delay, inter, uh, the delay taps interface with one another. Uh, nothing in this feels very cut and dry. It all feel, feels very gentle and droney and patty and, and very ethereal, which I guess would explain like, you know, uh, the fairy on the, uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the casing here. It all feels very uh, deliberate in, in creating a very kind of cool, ambient experience. Uh, and in keeping with that, the pedal board we used in this video is a very stripped down clean tone rig. We ran uh, the Walrus Julia in front of it for some chorusing, uh, and then this guy, and then to the Polymoon, which is Maris's super wide, smeared, multi-tap digital rack delay emulation. Uh, and all those things play together to create something very, very gentle and serene to the extent that like, I didn't use my usual go-to drums on the intro track for this, instead going with more of an orchestral percussion uh, library, because I just felt like I wanted to make something that kind of met this where it was at, because I think that's very indicative of what this pedal is. Um, like I said, this is dual DSP, two different algorithms running across five different uh, combinations, five different programs in here. Um, the mix control is the mix for both. The feedback and the regen control A and B, but there is inexorable interplay between the two. Um, this is a pedal that kind of decides what it wants to do in any of those uh, modes. And you can kind of get a lot of different sounds out of those modes by tweaking around, but this is one of those devices that people often say kind of like, you let it lead. It feels like the pedal kind of plays itself a little bit. And I think that that's the case here. I also think that this thing benefits really heavily in a larger ambient context. I think by itself, it has some really cool sounds, but I think that doing things like putting a warbly chorus ahead of it or a really wide stereo spread afterwards really helps to kind of finish that picture off. Um, but to that end, in the sound samples that we'll dive into in a second here, we'll have some moments where we build out a larger ambient context, and then we'll pull this in and out of the mix, and you'll hear just how valuable what this is doing in that context is, especially with things like that octave down reverb cascading into itself with a reverse delay in front of it. Um, it's all very gentle, and it's all very serene, and it's all very kind of droney and pointedly ambient. So I wouldn't call this the most versatile ambient thing on the market. It's got, like I said, five things that it does, and it does them all very, very well. Uh, and it does it all very gently. Like you can't get the feedback and the regen to like self-oscillate into oblivion. Uh, the way the dual DSP architecture works in here, it, it diffuses and obfuscates uh, within that effects, uh, effects loop. Uh, within that feedback loop, I should say, to the point where everything always feels very gentle and skittery and almost a little bit granular in a lot of places. Um, it's really cool. This is, this is I think this is a uh, what you see is what you get kind of device. So if you heard what you liked on that intro song, if you like the sound samples coming up, you'll know that you like this because like I said, this is a pedal that kind of plays itself and you are in many ways along for the ride. And it's a really cool ride. So. Let's get to our sound samples and uh, let's take a look at what the lore can do. So before we get into our sound samples, let's go ahead and talk through our signal chain really quickly. I am playing a J Massis Jazzmaster with Lambertone's Ristretto pickups into the Walrus Audio Julia chorus, the lore, and then the Maris Polymoon, which is kind of set up for like a really wide, subtle stereo effect. Uh, and from there we go to the Universal Audio Dream, which is basically 65 uh, deluxe reverb in a box. So the 
Jazz Master directly into the dream sounds like this. And then for context, that kind of polymoon width we were talking about sounds like this. We're going to bring it nice and subtle. Okay, so let's start things off with the lore. We are in program mode one. We're going to re really briefly run through each program, kind of dial in a sound that I like. Uh, some of them will be a little bit more subtle, and some of them will go like full wet, uh, and we'll use the kind of full pedal board context as we kind of dial through that stuff. We're starting things off here with program number one, which is a reverse delay into a reverse reverb. And the X control on this one basically controls uh, how much is moving forward and how much is moving backwards. So we'll take that X to minimum and we'll hear kind of largely forward moving uh, wet effects. And then we'll kind of increase that X control and we'll kind of move very quickly into kind of a more stuttery, jittery place and then do a full negative thing. Let's also go ahead and take our time to maximum. <laughs> I really do like uh, mode one with some chorus. I think that added warble kind of on the front of the lore really helps to kind of soften some of those edges and even further increase kind of how ambient this feels. So we've moved over to program number two, which is a reverse delay into a octave up reverb. So we have a forward facing reverb now. We're still using a reverse delay, but we're also getting kind of a shimmer effect. So the tone control is going to uh, help us kind of control that shimmer and make it not too uh, cheesy or over the top or too in your face, um, because I really like a lot of the more gentle sounds in this pedal, as I'm sure you heard on that intro song. So in this one, uh, the X control is going to uh, control the character of the reverb in a very meaningful way. So 
we're kind of going to find some interplay between the X, the feedback, and the regen in this mode. Let's go ahead and take that tone completely open, just to give you a sense of kind of how much brighter it gets. dampen that back down. Let's really extend out the feedback and the delay trails and the reverb trails on this thing and get something really massive and washy. And let's take that mix way up. jump over to mode three, which is effectively the same thing with an octave down on that reverb trail, which I really like. This is one of those ones that I think sounds really good at full wet for just big menacing chords. kind of low drone thing like this. This is a great time to bring in that poly moon or some sort of like good stereo widening pedal behind it. So And for context, if you take that lower out, this is what it sounds like. Oh yeah, by the way, if you press and hold that tap, it ramps. And the way that the pitch changes with that is very smooth and very well put together, which I think is really fun on this pedal.
Let's add a little bit more warble. Let's get on to program number four. So this is probably the most pad focused of any of these uh, algorithms, despite the fact that we just did that a ton with the previous mode. Um, mode number four, program number four on this thing is effectively a reverse reverb into a forward reverb. The reverse has an octave down, the forward has an octave up, and both of those amounts of octave can be blended in using the feedback uh, control for octave down and the regen for octave up. And then your X control is going to be your reverb length. And then obviously time is going to be that kind of decay time. So let's kind of dial both uh, feedback and regen to minimum and X nice and high so that we're getting the most kind of unpitch shifted version of reverb. And then we'll kind of bring that mix up and we will start to play with those other uh, feedback loops to kind of create something really multi octave or uh, massive pad sounds. <laughs> That's a real good one. Okay, and last but not least, we have program number five, which is, uh, I think, the only program in here that doesn't have a reverb in it. It still has a lot of ambiance, uh, to be fair, but there is not technically a reverb. This is two competing pitch-shifted delays that both have kind of that cascading pitch-shifting effect to them. Uh, 
you are quantizing your delays to fourths, fifths, and octaves, uh, and the interplay between feedback, regen, and X will kind of decide what order pitched down and pitched up uh, intervals hit. So the further counterclockwise you go on that X control, the more dominant octave down will be, and the further uh, clockwise you go, the more dominant octave up will be. So uh, for me, the cool stuff is in the middle here. Let's go ahead and open up the filter all the way so that we're getting a nice bright repeat. Let's start off with cascading all the way down on that X control, and then we'll start to kind of bring in, we'll kind of jump all the way up to the top, and then we'll start to fine tune in the middle to kind of showcase where the cool stuff in this version is. Oh, let's bring up our time. Bring the feedback all the way up. Nothing really self oscillates in this pedal, which is kind of great. So this will give us kind of the most the most repeats to kind of examine what's happening. And obviously, you can't get that many repeats out of this kind of mode with the X all the way down because you're just octaving down out of being able to hear what's happening. Similarly, with the X all the way up, you've now got Runaway. Uh, octave up. I've never found that cascading straight up thing to be particularly useful. Um, so let's find where the actual cool stuff is in here. We're now in a spot where uh, there's going to be some battling between the octave up and the octave down. And now that we're below noon uh, on that on that dial, we can now do that same thing, but have the lower repeats start to kind of dominate. And you get a lot more runaway, a lot more feedback out of it as you get closer to noon. Okay, and now we've dialed back that tone a little bit, um, and we've got it right nice at noon. This uh, is another one of those ones that I think benefits a lot from kind of greater ambient context. So let's bring in that poly moon and kind of, let's actually, let's take the lore out. Let's bring in that poly moon nice and big. Some nice great ambience, some great stereo kind of vibe going on. And then you could do something kind of staccato. Lore. 